So he's right? standing up right now. Stand, listen, you stand on that neck, <laughs> drop that thing. <laughs> wham, wham. But you got to have a baby leg like me to do that shit. You can't just do it. Wham, wham. Got the foot on the neck right here. Wham, wham, wham. People say talking who you know I'm drawing on wild like I'm Uno Yeah, I'm the one like I'm Uno I'm reaching the top of the Tudor I'm breaking the gauge, I be racing I'm mixing the white with the you know Shaking that ass, me, she hasting Yeah, I think she's scheming me She say she the one for the boy Who do you claim to be? I'm seeing right through your shit And I'm blocking the noise The money is calling me I'm getting the green I'm getting the cheddar cheese I'm making a recipe To get on top of the boys And you best believe, yeah Yeah, I'm high on Pluto People say talking who you know I'm drawing on wild like I'm Uno Yeah, I'm the one like I'm Uno Top of the two, I'm breaking the gauge, I be racing. I'm mixing the white with the you know, shaking that ass, she hasting. Yeah, I am that boy, the nigga, the one. People be talking, I listen to nothing. Yeah, my give it to him, Frost. Listen, man, that's my man, Frost, man, Uno, man. You're now tuned into me, 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 me. Me and I was worth a game on Wallow 267. It's Gilly the Nut, and that's Dev Nasty. This is brought to you by Bars Two Sports. Listen, man, and it's going down. What? Hold on. What happened? What happened? What's going on? What the fuck I tell you about introducing me? Listen, I'm the introducer. I say your name. That's your name. You use the nut. All right. All right, listen. Don't put your hands on me. It's Michael Cock Buffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your name. <laughs> I heard you I heard you used to be- Gilly Cock Buffer. I heard, when you was a, I heard when you was the captain of the wrestling team in jail, you used to be all up in there. And it's corner. No, no, I wasn't. Weighing in at a greasy oil down <laughs> 200. How you going to be the announcer if you're the captain? So you got, you lying no, you, on no, me. No, you, you had multiple jobs. You was the announcer, the captain. You was a pimp. You worked in the kitchen. You you did- you you. No, listen. You did manufacturer of jumpers. I worked in MA Exchange, Clothing in the yard, Exchange. I worked shoveling in the, shit. I worked in MA right? Clothing Exchange. I worked in the kitchen. I worked in the warehouse. Lifeguard in the shower. Lifeguard in the showers. <laughs> Fuck out. That's what he said. <laughs> listen, I never was no, listen, I never Dog. was no lifeguard in no prison shower. You was? Like, why would I be, like, like? come on, man. Come on, bro. I was no lifeguard. I used to squeegee the shower, like clean the shower up after like the shower. So nigga, everybody go in the shower. I let one off. Nobody you doing that in the shower. All over shit. <laughs> nobody doing Ooh. that in the shower. There's people in there. I was, I was squeezing. I was cleaning up the showers. You're not gonna tell me nobody never squeezed one in the showers, man. Hey, some niggas a bunch don't. Of there. Some niggas don't get fuck about none of that. <laughs> fuck you, ah, look over to you all, nah. and they got clean that shit up. You in this slipping nah. on niggas semen. All I used to do is take a bucket, splash anything, <laughs> scrub the walls, squeeze it down. Squeeze you know, I squeeze you anything down. Like and right to the to the to the little drain. Yo, he's splashing the walls. This shit is splashing no, on his not. face. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's crazy. No, it's not. Listen, I'm squeezing. Listen, splash just imagine, splash. listen, just imagine you take the walls and you got buckets of a soapy water and you splashing <laughs> chemicals everywhere. And it come down, drain off the wall, you scrub some of it with a scrub brush, and then when it hit the ground, you squeeze you in anything. You squeeze in anything. Who gave you that job? I heard the I heard the nigga that ran the block gave you that job. Hey nigga. Clean the showers no, up, he nigga. Didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I was just, I just was a shower clean. I wasn't no life. There ain't no lifeguard in here. That just sound crazy. So let's get all his jobs. He was a pimp in prison. I was never a pimp. He was a that's, shower. That's, you that's was a captain of the wrestling team. I was team. never a pimp in prison. How am I gonna be a pimp in prison? Come on, man. You was pimping boy, but we know what's going on. No, I you wasn't. was the captain of the wrestling team. You worked in clothes exchange. You worked in the yard because one time I talked to you, nigga, you said oh, I was out in the yard all day, something with some shit or something. something. No, it wasn't no shit. I was shoveling something. But, shoveling uh, what? I was on idle pay. So idle pay is like this. It's a pay that the state give you. So when you ain't doing shit, like it's like it's like welfare in jail. Like, you know what I mean? And, and they give you, they just pay you. So they be like, oh, get them guys that's on idle pay. So they told us to go to the yard. And like it was like snowing forever for like, and I just was out there every day. But it I was, was basically like, a, just a professional spotter. You used to just spot niggas. No, that's not that. I'm talking about shoveling snow. In what the they yard. Made you, that's all they made you do. Why would I spot somebody? I don't. That don't that's. I, it's coming out, Dev. Hey, let's, let's get into million dollars worth. Let's of get game, into man. that. Me, me, me. Manufactured real. So you talking about? All right, immediately. Is real ever coming back? Because right now, real is what you see on Instagram. It's not what real. you see on social media. What people portray to be real. See, before, you know, if you grew up in the 80s and you grew up in the 90s when None of social was media here. was, you didn't have to, you didn't have to, you wasn't trying to impress a motherfucker on a website that's 
not really real, like Instagram ain't real, like that shit's entertainment. But motherfuckers really take Instagram and social media as being real. Like, oh, that's real. Like the nigga that the nigga that got seven guns like this, a shitload of money. Oh, he's eating. He's just he's real. Like, is real ever coming back? No. I would say this until that shit is gone, it's not because more people like you gotta understand. It's like a a gift and a curse. It's like a give and a take. It's like a reward, and you know, like like a like is like a reward to people. To their mind, it's like, oh, I got to like, they like me. They, like, you're chasing, it's like you chasing it. It's like a, a fiend when they first get that first hit, they chasing that shit forever. It's like you chasing it. Girl get 100 likes, she's like, I got to keep getting 100. I got to get 200. I got to get 300. I got to get 300. So, you know what I mean? Even if an artist, you like, put your music up, oh, man, they, they don't like it. I'm going to dump this shit. No, that might be the song. <laughs> that might be the song, but it's like, I got. I don't want to leave it up there because it didn't get that many likes, and I don't want people to look at. Because if they don't, that shit don't mean nothing. Yeah, women will take their pictures down for sure. They, they don't take them. Jo- I didn't like, get a lot of likes on this one. And you might be like, "Damn, I liked it. That one. That was a nice picture to party to." What? Well, I'm just saying, if that's your thing, <laughs> if that's your thing, you know what I mean. So let me ask you a question. Hold on, not to get off subject, but have you ever jerked off off an Instagram photo? You fucking right. You, oh. you, when I was in, you got to remember, I had the phone when I was in jail. Oh, so I had so all these. Listen, you want to tell us? No, I'm not saying nobody names. I'm not saying nobody names. So oh, listen, because wow, you get in trouble. It, listen, it was. Listen. You can't even tell us who you used to jerk off to when you was in prison because you get in trouble. No, it was this one girl, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. let us know that you a bitchy ass nigga. <laughs> no, no, you no. can't tell us Instagram no, not, women no, 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 that you no, used no, to jerk off to before you met your woman. I wouldn't mind saying them, bro. Bro, you get in trouble now. No. I wouldn't mind saying them, right? It's cool to say them when they big time famous, but when they local, it's like, that nigga was stalking so-and-so. You can't just put that out there. Like, they was like local chicks from Philly. And it's uh, one girl, uh, right? So, so hold on. So, so who's some big famous chicks you done squeezed to? <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't matter because they shit was so like- oh, wait, I I It was around. unrealistic. It was unrealistic. Like me, I was a dude that, I like, I like, I like homegrown porn. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? So it's like, so it's like, it was like unreal. Listen, I'm like, I'm gonna see her, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be party time. So this one, listen, listen, and this was, and this was, this was, was crazy. Like on everything I love, listen, on everything I love, right? The one girl that I used to jerk off to in jail, right? I wind up connecting with her on the streets, right? And that ass was everything. I'm talking about. It was. It was like, listen, this no bullshit. Like, like because, and this would made, this would made, this would made it so easy. Like, I was on there, right? And when I was in the cell, I'm on the gram, and I'm asking my brother, I'm like, yo, who that? He's like, that's so-and-so, so-and-so people. You know them, right? I'm like, yeah. So now it was like even more, because it was like it's a possibility that I'm, I ran into her, and when I ran into her, it was like, it was nighttime. It was like, I went to this event, and she screamed my name. Oh, from seeing me on Instagram. And I'm like, no, she didn't. <laughs> I'm thinking, and I'm like, if she knew that I was a filthy animal in jail, jerking off to her fucking pictures in the cell, because she used to have these videos where she just walk away and her ass be shaking, right? He was a filthy like, animal. Like, listen, listen, this this back when it was like 15, Get out of here, you 15 seconds animal. on Instagram, the, the video. Listen, man, I just keep like uh, refreshing that joy. <laughs> stop it. I stop. <sighs> Calm down, boy. Listen, listen. So listen, I get home, right? So now. I'm like, damn, I'm going to get this ass. I need this. I need to get her, right? So we get together one day. I never got it. I never got it. But that shit was real. I felt, listen. No, no, no. <laughs> he said this ended so anticlimactic. I didn't get it. Like, I didn't get it. Yo. Because she was on some other shit. Hold on. I thought this, you said listen, it was everything. This I what thought. happened. No, this what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. So bottom this line is, no, is you no, told no. that long ass story to get to you didn't get no pussy. This the time. This the, the time. Wait, wait, no, 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 you listen. fucked her on the phone. No, let me give you the game did. though. This, 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 what it was. This the time when Gil say that I was a homeless sexual. I was living in nanny crib. So she's like, let's go to your spot. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Nigga, if you right. was a player, you'd have took it to no, nannies, listen, nigga. Listen. No, because fuck listen, is you no, talking no, listen, about? Listen. See, see, that's how you know he ain't no true let, player. Let me, let me explain something. I'd have came home. I would have been the middle room slayer. No, no, but let me explain yeah, me, something to you. I'd have been nanny. Put your earplugs in. You. Nanny, you know I did 20 years. Put no, your listen. earplugs in for me, nanny. I'm no, about no, to, no, this what happened. This to, what happened. <laughs> that was going to be the plan, right? I'm about right? to fuck the soul out this bitch. That was going to be the plan, right? But I was like, damn, how this going to look? Me sneaking up the steps. And then nanny might still be in the living room, right? So don't like, even, first of all, let me just tell you something. My nigga, if you go into any house 
and you don't go to the front room, that's not your fucking house. So it don't matter, nigga. Like you, you, you took it to the middle room. Take- Look, you take it to the middle room. You take it to the basement. You take it to the back room. You fuck in a, in, a, in, a, in a fucking dining room, the kitchen. The bitch know that's so not listen, your so house. Listen. I take like, it out. Listen, behold, like, let me tell you. He, he, he was going to rush the bitch up here and slide into listen. the middle room and she was going to think that was l- his l- shit. L- listen, I take it out. I take <laughs> it out. No over liberty, right? So we like on the back. I'm like, man, listen. No, hey, I love. She had these jeans on. I cracked them jeans down. That ass jumped out of them jeans. I'm like, yo. You ever see an ass jump out of some jeans? Like, thank you. Like, I'm like, I'm like, what the? F-? Like, it was like, you know, you know how you know how a dog be in the crib forever? And you let them out to the backyard or something. They just be running around the gate. Their ass was just like, ah, whoop, whoop. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm kissing on him. It was crazy, right? Ass jumped out the jeans like this. It was crazy, but then that night we had a nice night. We walked around there. We did a little. We did a little. A little and you had to the night off. I get no pussy. Like I went home and jerked off. Let, let me tell you something. But let the jerk off was way more real. It was no, way more real. Uh, let me tell you something. Grabbed, let me tell you something. Because she grabbed the dick. That's what you yeah, about to yeah, say. He, he can still yeah. smell her too. I mean, so let me just it tell was you crazy, something. man. Let me just say something. That's how you know you ain't working with nothing. Bitch, bitch, she was gonna give him some pussy in that back block in the, in the, in the minivan. That's when you had the minivan back there, huh? That was minivan Dan. He was minivan Dan. Listen, but <laughs> she gave him the peace. You know the peace tester. <laughs> she is no, like, she did. <laughs> the fuck? Mm, where's your dick? <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she didn't do that. She didn't do that. She was like, "Don't." Th- is she didn't it, do that. Listen, she was like, it, "Is it tucked under yeah. or something?" Because I don't. Uh, you want to drop me off, buddy? No, she she was I, gonna give you something, but she, she gave you the dick test. She know I got a test. She know I got a BBC. She know that. She know that. She's like, what, she's like, what's a BBC? Big black cock. She know that. <laughs> she know that. She said, this boy got a BBC. He's a legend. Yeah, she know that. Man, she gave you the, she gave you the dick test that you ain't passed. Yeah. She said, drop me the fuck off. But, you had to go home but, and jerk but off. Everybody jerked off to a girl on Instagram. Uh, and mm-hmm. I ain't talking about no. I never in my life jerked off to a bitch on Instagram, man. See what he got you on bitch ass nigga status. He's scared. He's a nut. Why would I jerk off to a bitch on Instagram? I could go to uh Dev, did you ever do it? Tell yeah, the truth. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> That's Dev Nasty. I mean, come on, man. Niggas jerking hey, B-Rock, off you ever do that? on B-Rock. Instagram. <laughs> Hold on, B-Rock. B-Rock, 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 B-Rock no was real, real B-Rock. vicious. He so, said no. <laughs> so, so it's real ever coming back. Fuck no. Because real to me is recognizing everybody ain't loyal. That's real. I understand that part, but it's like, it's like, it's too hard because it's like, people is forced... People that's not cool with themselves and comfortable with their position in life and they shot, they are forced to do it. They like hey, everybody else capping. Yeah. I might as well cap. Yeah. Real real is not gonna come back to a fake platform. A fake platform. That's no. that's what it, where where are you looking for it real? Not gonna come out you know what I mean? The people that's look you got people that search for the certain things and it's like what, it, they're not gonna <laughs> be able to real is not gonna be expected respected as much as the bullshit. If you if you want to find reality, go live in reality. Yeah, Sit live your out, life. outside of the phone, the internet, and all that type of shit. You know what I'm so, saying? So so all right. So did cool fuck black people up? It devastated black people. Now, let me explain something to you. All right. So as a black person in America, right? It depends on your position and what you see, how you see life. It went through slavery, went through all this shit, go through all type of segregation, Jim Crow. You go through all this shit. And then it comes to the part where cool hit. So I, I go through all that shit. And well, then hold on. They, so you don't think it was no cool slaves, nigga? You don't think it was a nigga that was out in the field that all the bitches was like, hey, we got a chance, though. Damn, that's deep. I never thought about we, that. We giving, we giving. So you think it was a Billy D. Williams slave? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. <laughs> you don't think it was no slaves that the slave, the white, the, the white woman slave owner was like, I want to fuck him. I'm getting some of that nigga dick right there. Oh, they that was 100%. Nigga, that nigga looked good. So you think it was a Chris that Brown? Nigga, you think it hey, was like a Chris then, Brown then slave nigga that was dancing? Then let me just tell you like, something. Let me just tell you something. Then, back then, the, the, if, you was a, if you was a Caucasian slave owner, you got to look at the dicks for free. Strip naked, boy. you like, so so yeah, <laughs> she so picking the cream of the, cu- the cream of the crop. <laughs> bitch like this. Oh my God, BBC <laughs> black cock. Like my man said, got he's got a Joe hanging out. Oh my God, he got a BBC. Like she like she already know who working with what the Mandingo the- Warriors was out yeah, there. So 
at the end of the day, you're not going to tell me that it wasn't no cool fucking slaves, man. It, cool always been in love. It's cool, just, it's cool, just, cool was probably in, but not probably to the detriment of what you're saying. No, what I'm saying is like now, it's like you got to fill out all this check by like people, people living their regular life, but then they want to be accepted by the way black people see is what is okay. What is thorough, what is okay, what is cool. And it's like people get like, I want to be on a cool monitor. I right. want to be cool. I want to be accepted by them. <laughs> right. I got to talk this certain way. I got to dress this certain way. Absolutely. Like on some real shit. I want to be on a cool monitor. Nah. Yeah, I want to be on them. I want to be on them. Cool, 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 cool. Ding, 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 ding. It's, it's either like eight or nine shit. out of ten. Listen, and, and, and it's like, think about it. You got to do all this shit. I got to dress like this. I got to talk like this. I got to act like this. I got to buy by certain, these rules. I got to I got to I got to wear these certain clothes or these drive this certain car. I got to uh, have this type of money. I got to eat at this certain restaurant. I got to take these type of pictures. It's like all this fucking shit you got to do in order to be cool. If you don't do that, you're corny. Right. You're you're fucking Oh, he's a corn boy. He's corny. Oh, think that's some fucking, even even connecting with other people that could take you further in life. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, this nigga Joe, that's, like he. That's you know corny talking to somebody you don't know. Yup. Like we dehuman. Like anything that's human shit. <laughs> like we just say, no, don't be human. <laughs> right. Be be cool. But we was taught that since since kids though. Yeah, and it's in us. You fall, don't cry. All that shit. Get all up, shit. don't cry. What be you crying cool. for? Be tough. Be tough and be cool. But it's like that cool shit. Damn, that's a deep joint right there. That shit is like. It, 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 it's sad, man, because people can't even be themselves. They got to be cool. Think yeah. about saying, I can't, what I want to do, what I want to wear, I can't do none of that. I got to be cool because it's pressure on me and my community and from my people. And, and leaving out the house, I'm cool with with what I got on. I'm cool with, with my presentation, with how I look. But is everybody else going to be cool with it? Right. Do you, do you think I should... Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if everybody else is gonna like what I fuck. What I like, fuck what I want for myself. Fuck what I care about. Fuck what make me happy. Is everybody else gonna like what? If everybody else gonna be happy with what I is, so I don't know. Maybe I never cool did fuck black no, yeah, people. It one hundred percent did because even a person like me, like when I listen to people talk and talk about their life, niggas that be in the street, they describe these scenarios that's not even fucking with the way I grew up. On paper, I should be the nigga that was in jail, all of this type of shit. You got, you bouncing from different cribs, your mom on drugs, all of that. Yeah, but a lot of these niggas, crib, that's, 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 that's what they oh, fall my on. Was getting high, my but a lot of shit was niggas wanted to be cool. They wanted to be outside. They wanted to be involved in certain shit and certain shit. I just didn't care about. I had goals in mind, and that's what I stayed on. I did what the fuck I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, too, it ain't, it ain't even about being cool. It's about being a follower. It's about, it's about looking for the attention and the love and, and, and the acceptance that you was looking for in your household that you never got. Mm -hmm. You feel looking what I'm to, saying? Looking, looking to be embraced, by, you know, because a lot of times, it's a lot of shit that goes on in black America and in the black household. It'll be a lot right. of shit going on, just, 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 just how we is. And sometimes people be trying to get their life together. Your mom... Yeah, might be like your dad might have had you when he, you know what I mean, parents 17, 18. Like I, I was talking to this young boy, he was like, Man, me and my dad, we really don't see, we, we I don't fuck with him. I said, Why? He said, Man, it, when he had me, he went to jail. This and I said, Hold up. I said, Can can you do me a favor? Can you be can you be understanding for once? He said, What I mean? He said, Your dad went to prison when he was 17. He was a kid, bro. He didn't need, like he hopefully he matured and grew up in prison, but now you're 21 years old, bro. Your right. dad just coming out of prison. Like y'all really don't even know each other. You don't right. even realize well, when, your, when your parents was 25, they listen, wasn't listen. grown. Yeah, yeah. You so feel it's, what I'm so saying? it's like you, now he live and even if just imagine if you're growing up in the crib with your dad, your dad's 17, still trying to be a kid, still trying to figure out life. So you left with your with your with your grandmom or whatever, cause they still trying to grow and live their life. You know what I mean? Cause their life ain't stopped. So it's like it's a lot of shit. So now the little man, he ain't getting the love from dad or family or his mom because they's trying to grow. He going to go out there and try to figure it out. And right. Somebody might say, I got you. Look out for you. Buy you some sneaks or do something for you. Give you a package. All it takes for gun. the right old head to embrace you. Yeah, and it's a wrap. You feel what I'm saying? If he embrace you and then put, and, 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 and see, one thing about the older niggas is they able to, to get the younger, the younger ones' minds a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then they'll finesse them into doing some dumb shit. And you notice the word he used was finesse. Niggas yeah. be using y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll finesse a youngin into doing some dumb shit. Because they don't want to step up. Shit. That's just like, right. 
like for instance, dude like me come home out of penitentiary all the time, we gonna be straight up. We gonna keep it all official. Niggas thought I was fucking crazy. Oh, who this nigga coming home from jail did this 20 years telling niggas that jail not cool? This nigga's fucking nut. He telling dudes jail not cool. They ain't what's up this and third. You know why? Because I was a dude that realized a real old head going to give you real game of life. I'm not going to try to, because I ain't no nigga that's out here trying to bust him. I never was a dude that tried to get somebody else to do my work. I put my own work in. Right. So you got dudes out here, like he said, that's two strike felons or got jackets. They don't want to put no work in, so Listen, they put these, a young boy in the dummy. These dumbness. niggas is going motherfucking make you take them charges, tell yep. you, you know what I mean, you, you the cool. real one. I got one. your lawyer, yeah. and then disappear on your fucking ass. Yep. And then now you sit in the penitentiary, your mom looking for them, damn it, boo-boo ain't answering the phone. He ain't, he the pose at your lawyer, pose at commissary, and they go on to the next young boy, got him on a dummy ass mission. Right, them he finessed out there, him. Finessed him, and now it's just crazy. So be mindful, young boys, that on some real shit, the streets don't love you, that, that the real... Real niggas don't love you. All right. that real nigga shit, that mm -hmm. shit is all a facade, man. All that my day one shit. Listen, <sighs> listen man. I'm, I'm just say this. About that day one shit. If you and a nigga don't got more than 10 plus years in, like day one, it's a nigga that grew up with you. Like y'all moms, <laughs> y'all moms had y'all together. Y'all was in the playground. <laughs> right. Y'all was in the sandbox. Like day one, it's like you met a nigga, what's his name? And, uh, you're a criminal, I'm a criminal. You're my day one. What? Fuck no. <laughs> like, like, on some real shit. Like, come on, man. Like, we be we like, we really be got the game. We got the game fucked up. And when you hit that penitentiary and you walking by yourself, or you bleeding the fuck out and you laying on the ground, it's just you. Don't wait till it's too late. God, uh, 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 right. God, Understand that too, God. young boys. When you when you out here and you in these streets and the the cards don't always fall in your place. And and then you the you the you the victim on the other side of the gun. Mm -hmm. You the nigga laying there on that ground in that cold, waiting on the ambulance to come. It's only you laying there. And you got to understand this. It's only you laying there. And the, and, and when you talk about the criminal side of things, right? It's always somebody that know you, that most of the time kill you, get you killed, or that's going to tell on you. Mm -hmm. We Word know up. each other. I can't can't Johnny nobody tell on Gil. Right. Right. Nobody, it's never like that. It's always this. And it goes back to this. It's always your day one. No, here you go. Here go the DA. Uh, excuse me. Uh, state your name. My name is Raheem Johnson. Uh, excuse me, Raheem Johnson. Do you know the defendant, Dante Williams? How long do you know him? Well, I knew him for a long time. Our moms um, used to have us together. Our moms like sisters. So you know him that good? Yeah, I used to stay at his house. His mom used to take care of me when my mom was on drugs. So you know him really well. So you know that on October 29th, you're sure that you saw him shooting Dante Davis. Yes, I saw him. He stood over him. He <laughs> yeah. shot Dante Davis. The same dude that ate oodles and noodles at your mom's house. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, your mom probably made the nigga spaghetti. Mm -hmm. She gave him the benefit of the doubt. She mm -hmm. gave him spaghetti, not hot dogs, the hot sausages with the baked beans and yeah. shit. Like, mm -hmm. she gave you all that stuff. And she's sitting in there in the, in the courtroom. Ah, my baby ain't never hurt nobody. And he telling on you because he don't want to take a weed charge. Something yeah, yeah. crazy. Some dumb shit. Okay. And my baby ain't never hurt nobody. Mm -hmm. And motherfuckers, in the, and motherfuckers, the aunt in the back, you know that boy was a goddamn animal. <laughs> Talking about he ain't never do that. You know he was a fucking savage out here. But it is what it is. <laughs> but he the same boy telling, he, he on the joint. Yeah, that's him. And he looking at you tough. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's He shot him. Uh -huh. He ain't had to do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, he ain't had to shoot. He ain't had to shoot him. <laughs> I mean, that was a cow. He was a cow. All that shit, nigga. <laughs> like, the DA like, all right, no further questions. So come on with this dumb shit. Okay. Talking that day one shit. Let's go to the next one. Topic. Next topic at hand. Yeah, he going with some dumb shit. What do you guys think a woman's favorite sex position is? And... Because I'm asking you, what do you think for the woman? But I'm asking you, what is your favorite sex position as a man? See, for oh, me. That's easy. That's easy. Okay, go ahead. That's easy. Go Listen, ahead. say if I'm laying on the bed right here, right? Mm -hmm. And my head hanging off the bed. Mm -hmm. Lay it on my face. Lay it on my face, baby. Lay it on my face. Ooh, lay it on my face. Uh, <laughs> spray it on your face. <laughs> spray it on my face. Uh, then lay, lay it on his face. Then spray it on his face. Spray it on his face. Spray it on his face. Lay it on his face. Then spray it on his face. He gonna eat your ass. He gonna eat your pussy. He gonna eat it all, even if it's bushy. Ooh. Lay it on my face. Then spray it on his face. That's that's my listen. That's all you want. Listen, listen. That's her favorite position. That's her favorite joint, and that's mine. Told you he ain't got no dick. 
Told you. No, 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 no. He just want to eat it. He don't want to be it. A lot of times they see it and they cut. They see my piece and they cut. Let me eat it for four hours. BBC. No, but. Black cop. Like my man. He'll want to spread it on the dick. Lay it on my face. Spread it on my face. Lay it on my face. No, but you're saying that's her favorite. Yeah, and mine. But but you but but because they see my piece and they come. That's real though. No. That's it's real. not real. I mean, that's real. That's two, a good one. No, no. Two favorite position is not it's what I'm on his knees. <laughs> it's Gil on no. his knees in the shower when she pissing on him. No. A GS. A golden shower. No, first of you all. You let him GS. It's not, it's not when I'm eating it. It's when I'm beating it. See, the problem with you niggas is your tongue's longer than your dick. Yeah, no, fuck out of here. Yo, no, oh, oh, oh. They call me face. baby lady. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I got to say my song. I say my song. They call me baby lady. Who that is? That's baby lady. I'm baby lady, nigga. My shit is baby lady. I don't know if you sick. Let me tell you something. So why y'all want to, all y'all want to do is, it's, it's, I like to pleasure the woman, man. I like to take care of her, man. She takes so care of me. So you just said your dick don't pleasure the woman, all right? <laughs> no, I'm talking about I'm just, in a different way. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why you eat the pussy for two hours? I like to pleasure the woman. Why you don't give a new dick? <laughs> because two, because if I once I eat the yabba dabbas for about 12 minutes. 12 two, minutes. Yeah, you cheating too. Oh, no, 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 no. Once I eat it for about 12 minutes, two is begging me to come up and give her that dick. Please, what's the right? That motherfucker got all types of shit running down the side. She like, please, come up and give me the dick. Two play that motherfucker like, this. all right, that's enough. That's a lot. Well, put your legs down, man. You look spicy. Put your shit down, man. Put your legs down, man. God damn. This motherfucker's an animal. What's wrong with him? <laughs> April be in there just fucking his face for two hours. Shut up. <laughs> Can I come up now? Shut up. You hear this shit? Shut the fuck up. He like, oh, man. Can I come up now? No, it ain't no come up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> it's a yeah, problem. Man. You done burnt your stem out in jail. All that jerking <laughs> off, man. No, my stem is strong. <laughs> I, think, like, I think a woman's favorite sexual position, unless she's a... Well, I think they got multiple sexual positions. You never know. All women no, no, is no, different. No, 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 no. All women no, no, is different. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. If a woman got a f super fat ass, she always want to arch that back and show you that ass from yep. the back. Now, if a woman got the long back with the part in it, <laughs> she ain't really trying to jump up on them knees and, you ever and do arch a next that stand? and you ever show do a you next that stand? cardboard box. You, you ever do a next stand box. on the chick? Uh, no. You what? Or the what? A next stand, bitch don't want to. A bitch she, don't, she got that ass arch, right? She got she got it arch right. Yeah, that back arch. So he's right? standing up right you now. Stand, listen, you stand on that neck, and drop that thing. <laughs> wham, wham. But you gotta have a baby leg like me to do that shit. You can't just do it. Wham. Got, got the foot on her neck right here. Wham, wham, wham. I mean, you gotta be. A baby. woman is letting you put them see, dirty see, ass see, feet see, on her face. See for me. See for me. And I got my vans on. See for me, that's some vicious Dallas the Pink Palace shit. Like. No, the fuck, no way. Like that's how you had your no, foot on not. a nigga neck up in the jail. Huh? Yeah, to hold him no, the I fuck did. down. No, right, stay down, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of them joints. Stay down, nigga. Don't fucking move, <laughs> nigga. I, no, you stay down, break your fucking neck. No, it ain't. Stay down, I'll break your neck. No, if you move, I'm step on your neck hard and break your shit, no, nigga. <laughs> 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 On his neck <laughs> and a dick that's a wreck. He like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this nigga. Yeah, I know what you do. Pull off the penitentiary moves on these bitches. Huh? <laughs> that's what you're doing. Huh? You're pulling off these greater yeah, foot moves on these bitches. Huh? <laughs> holding bitches down with your oh feet. My god. That's a low key borderline rape. You out here holding bitches down with your commit. Who the fuck with them crusty ass feet that ain't been manicured in 20 fucking oh my years? God. Feel like motherfucking uh, Brillo pads. <laughs> Bitch got a heavy Brillo pad holding her neck there. Uh, you think that's fun for? Her? Oh man, huh? Yo, yeah, he pulling off the penitentiary moves, huh? Crazy. Me, I think, but I think most women like missionary style because they like the body on body yeah, contact. Yeah, because we, we used to have a prostitute, uh, we used to be getting the crackheads and buying them, he used to stay missionary. <laughs> you did, yeah, that's right, uh, yeah, you, you did say that. I'm like, why you kidding? You he did say that. Him, he kissed now, him you know he's a missionary he killer, chill, you chill. gonna, you he gonna tell, try he to lie. Me, he told me, watch the door so nanny won't come down <laughs> yeah. here. He from here. I'm like, yo, man, why you missionary? <laughs> he missionary, oh, no, this shit good. He First talking to it, they digging the ear. You know it's mine now. 
Go and leave while I'm coming back. <laughs> nigga, you, we, <laughs> already know, we already know you was the one talking but, uh, to him. Yeah, I did like, see that. Like, right, that, that. But I done it too, though. He did, I done it too. I that, that y'all going to try to lie. But we the missionary joint is the best joint when you start getting tired. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because then you got something. <laughs> I don't like, get tired. Listen, no, I don't, don't get tired. Nah, fuck listen, you talking about. What? Y'all niggas is on 27 minutes. This nigga's on your little 27 minute So he be having to take a break for a game Yeah, no, yeah. Hold up. Time out. Time out. That ass, ass too big. Time out. That ass too big. <laughs> That's where you throw your hands around the legs, hand on the ass, <laughs> underneath the ass cheeks, like underneath the ass cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I'm, used to, <laughs> I'm used to wrestling with old white men. I'm not used to wrestling <laughs> with asses this big. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. He <laughs> jumped. Yo, I'm used to wrestling with, with 55 year old white men. I'm not used to wrestling with. You gonna, gonna stop disrespecting the arts? Listen, motherfucker got him in a huckleback. Come here. No, no. See, hold on, hold on. So put him in a Hold on. So this the this the funny part. You was supposed to say the huckleback was gay, but then you. Was about to put him in it. That's crazy. No, I'm not saying you was you was trying to show him as a. I'm a martial yo, artist. I, I'm a mixed martial artist. All right, the huckabuck. I'll be on the mats wrestling with dudes something. too. I the huckabuck exactly. is like defense. What's the huckabuck? Explain it. No, so the huckabuck is a little something different. No, tell him what the huckabuck. No, 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 no. You ain't got to explain. Let me just tell him what you. it is. This when somebody hey, like this jaw dragon and they just like come here, stop playing. Stop playing. Like, oh, so in jail, you had a nigga in a hucker fuck. No, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, he did. That's him, man. He wanted to get it. <laughs> you had a nigga in a hucker fuck. I, I had Gil in a hucker fuck one time on the gram on Instagram. You <laughs> <laughs> did. He did. He did. <laughs> nah, you had him in a rear naked. Whoa, whoa, what the f I was not naked, man. Dad. Bro, a rear naked choke. You supposed to be oh, yeah, a black no, belt no, in no, jujitsu. No, no, I, I thought you I thought something else. He said, First of all, let me just say something. Let me just say something. A real nigga naked. had me a in the rear, rear naked. naked nothing. I don't give naked. a fuck what you talking about. His rear was naked. A nigga never had me on no rear <laughs> naked nothing. You had a onesie nigga. on and you had oh, him in a rear about? naked choke, yeah. and then he sent Lib to the kitchen to get a knife. Yep. He was mad, yep. He was mad. He did. He get a knife. The thing is, Lib went right to the drawer and went. I got it. I had draws on <laughs> He necked it that was he. So, so what's your favorite position? I like to take I like to take two skiing. I mean, I go from the, from the busy, but when I say get tired, because from the busy, I could look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? You pound your chest a little bit, you know what I mean? You're doing you. But when I get tired, man, I go into that missionary and then tuck the leg, tuck, I don't get tuck right. the arms. When you, you know need the cream, you go missionary style. I understand. That's <laughs> Wallow, too. Anytime Wallow got a cream, he strapped it. He strapped it. He, <laughs> he strapped April in like a motherfucker roller rider. No. Hey, great adventures. <laughs> so, yeah, so you all. Oh, uh, okay. So, so y'all niggas missionary on warriors, huh? <laughs> y'all the MWs, huh? <laughs> Fuck the Golden State Warriors and <laughs> the missionary warriors. <laughs> oh, no. It's another classic. But they going to be alarmed the first time it happened. You with a joint, y'all getting it, you stop everything. You grab a mirror, you put that joint up against the wall, you get on the couch, you get the ride game, but you watch it. You know what I mean? You got them thrown over <laughs> yeah, the joint. Jo and you watching that joint. Yeah, and you just no, watching like the joint. Uh -uh. yeah. I like when I like Talk when they go, me. when I lay on my back and they ride the dick, shoot toot, just ride the dick from the back, backwards. <laughs> and just all you Reverse cowgirl. The arch and what? Reverse cowgirl. Uh huh. And that's the, that's the nigga. They, and they grabbing your ankles. They holding the ankles down. They like ah, yeah. going crazy. Yeah, I know. Uh, what you're doing. Yeah, he was he was reverse cowboy. <laughs> 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 no, they hold your ankles. Yeah, they hold your ankles. They going back. I'm about to take this nigga up in my prison cell. I'm no, going to ride he's spicy, till man. I can no more. <laughs> we'll ride till the bars come home. <laughs> 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 Damn. Damn, spicy, too. Like, Damn, spicy, too. Look. I'm going to ride until them bars come <laughs> off. I'm going to cook them up a sack. <laughs> Sandwich in the toilet. <laughs> Hit it from the yeah, bike. That was, that was <laughs> uh, yeah, refrigerator. Orange juices in the toilet. Noodles in the bag. Yo, some in cheese. The back. <laughs> in the back. Well, that's what y'all put the shit in when y'all got to make the cheat shit. Oh, yeah, in the bag. You said the bag. I, yeah. the bag. I said noodles oh. in the bag. <laughs> Orange juices in the toilet. <laughs> Hey, hey, they said you was reverse cowboy up there. <laughs> Fuck out. On a king size mattress. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my hey, God. Hey, hey, y'all niggas is crazy, man. Who would you be? Let's get into the segment of who would you be? You got to do three months in the most active. Gang in the country. 
like killing people and everything. Like, no, you, you got whatever that you got to go with them niggas for three months. You got to do three months of the most active gang in the country. Mm. Right? What else? Or you got to do one year as a bouncer. Yo, that ain't about shit, at nigga. The most, at the most ruthless gay club in the world. I don't know where it could be in Guatemala. It could be any fucking way. What you mean by ruthless? It, they getting they could they going crazy. In oh, it's time. like violence, like yeah, crazy, right? And it's a gay joint too. It's a, it, listen, it's the most brutalist gay bar on a, on planet Earth, and you got to you got to you got to be a bouncer there for six months. I mean, so, for so, a year, so, so. for a year, or you got to be locked up for two weeks. In the most notorious prison in the world with no guards. Ooh. I'm, I'm being a bouncer. You being a bouncer? Yeah, I'm, I got you. I'm, I keep my freedom. I'm not going to fuck the jail, and I'm not joining no fucking gang where I'm going to get killed. I'm going to just be the bouncer, man. Okay. Mm. So you I'm, not, I'm not gay, so it don't matter. I'm just bouncing. Right. I'm just frisking people down. That's it. So you're going to be in there. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very large one. <laughs> Nigga like this. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah. you say I'm gonna keep getting forced alarms and shit. Uh, yeah, you just you gonna be the forced alarm boy. Uh. You in there just grabbing niggas pieces, huh? No, I ain't gonna be doing that. That's what you gonna be. I'm doing. just gonna be doing uh, my job and going home, man. It's a dirty job, but somebody got to do but it. But what if Snowball's crew is in there? That, that's that, I don't know who Snowball. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know who listen, Snowball is. No, listen, no. listen. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. And you know, we we don't judge anybody on here. We don't. We love everybody. Straight people, gay people, transsexual. We don't have a problem with anybody. But I knew Wallow wanted to come out. What? Because I'm, I'm bouncing at a gay bar? How? Because I'm a bouncer at a, at a gay bar. No, because you would have been in there tackling niggas. <laughs> well, no, for, for, no. for nothing. <laughs> yeah. He's got a piece on him. Just <laughs> rear naked troop. <laughs> <laughs> see, see dudes flying across the jaw. No, I'm just I'm just door security. He said bounce at a bit. I'm about uh, I'm I'm at the door bouncing me. You patting people down. That's it. But then what this but remember, this is not a regular club. Yeah, we're this talking not about a regular We're joint. talking about these people are vicious. Everybody in there is like snowball. The, you know the bull from the from the Jersey jails that just knock you out and oh, so, so why is they in there tough though? It don't matter. Why would they be in there fighting? It's just crazy just that's crazy. going that's, on that's everywhere what, in there. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what they do. Well, listen, I ain't I ain't in jail, so I gotta just be, put my gloves on with the knuckles out mm -hmm. and do what I gotta do. I'm security. I'm respecting everybody. How you doing today? Hi. And then we go so try to keep cool. So one of them niggas cool. knock wallow the fuck out there. Boop, bop, bop, and then give him a hickey. You suck uh, with his neck. <laughs> suck on his neck. Come here. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> you look, I'm gonna leave my mark on you so I, you can see me tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Like, look, yeah, look how you got here like that though. No, he like, give me a hickey. Give me a hickey where? Where he, where he give me a hickey here? Where, where he give me a hickey at? Where he, if yo, he give me a hickey, yo, right the nigga suck heart. on your nipples is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. And I'm asleep. <laughs> I go crazy. Yo, that's crazy. What man. you doing? Dev I ain't going front, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to be See, a Dev, bouncer. See, Dev going to be bouncing yeah, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because oh, then we more no, charge. Yeah, Marcus, we double about. back. Mar so, yeah, we back, 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 just, we back to back. Like, don't leave me the <laughs> fuck out. I'll be <laughs> bouncing <laughs> with you, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> see, now you will bounce with us. You don't want to go to jail. Uh, I'll be like, you asked me on a lot of jobs. Nah, Gil, why don't you go to the... uh? The whatever Guatemala in prison, them it, it, niggas gonna drop off food, food from a helicopter you and y'all can just survive together. Oh, oh good. They gonna know you as Gilly the King, they gonna fuck with you. They gonna be like, <laughs> no, yo, we not. fuck with Gilly. They're like, they're they're so lie too. No, they not. They gonna try to they're stab like, the shit out of for be, no reason. No, they gonna be like, did you get pulled over with my 80 first pounds of, all, of weed? First of, <laughs> Was all, first, that of my weed? first of all, if I go to if you go to the, one of the notorious jails of, in, the, in the world, that's not gonna be in the United States. And that be them niggas ain't gonna speak no English. So I'm gonna be in there like this. What's up with y'all? I don't know what the fuck y'all And he gonna be scared to death looking for me. Wallo! No, I ain't gonna be scared to death. What the fuck I'm looking for you? You don't know the language, nigga. I know people. Fuck though. you talking about. You don't know nobody, nigga. I'm gonna know somebody down there. You don't know nobody, nigga. We'll all be bouncers at fucking Woody's. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Right, Shanks, that's the name of this joint. Yeah. Shanks. Oh, yeah. you, you getting stabbed one way or the other. Oh, so we got a fork of diamond. You, you behind him, you be. Yeah. Like the front of a video game <laughs> cover. Everybody like this, nigga. Fuck. Shanks. <laughs> and, they like, listen, the most notorious gay bar no, in the see, world. The whole thing, Shanks. We got to watch Gil because Gil gets some hitty in him. It's, it's plenty of it. <laughs> <laughs> he get hitty in him. Plenty of, he get wild, so I don't, we gotta watch him. When the hitties in this system, he ain't no telling. <laughs> <laughs>
He gonna be in the LA. He gonna be trying to fight us. Gil, calm down. Get off me. He was like, yo, yo, like, come on, man. Like, Gil, that's Ricky Minaj. That's Ricky. That's not Nicky. Yeah, Relax. He gonna be mad. You know what I mean? Hey, hey. <laughs> what's the what's the top what's the top rappers from every decade starting in the eighties? God you got, damn. Who you got your own? Eighties, I got Run DMC. The nineties, I got. I can't. Even. It can only be one name. The nineties is hard because Tupac who? Shakur. Absolutely. The two thousand. You going with Tupac? Yes, and you already know his Hove. The two thousands, I got. No, you can't pick two. He's going. You, no you, Hove in the two thousands. Oh, the two thousands is Wayne for me. Mm. And, and yeah, how the fu- yo? That's hard. The twenty tens oh. is you know. Drake. Y'all. Yep. Yo. So you said Run DMC. He said Run DMC, Tupac, Wayne, Drake. Run DMC, Tupac, Wayne, Drake. That's the 80s. NWA. The 80s, man. I'm going to say. You could go with NWA. I'm going with NWA. I'm going with Pac for the 90s. That's a good one when he said Wheezy, yo. But I'm going to say Hove. You had to go with myself. No, you you trash. We gonna ignore that. We scrap. We, I'm willing to delete <laughs> that man, comment. Man. He's a ass nigga. <laughs> He's some going with. You watch I'm going the with Ho- I'm going with Hove, and without a doubt, in the 2010s is Drizzy. All right, now see this the whole thing. This is my whole thing. What's your whole thing, nigga? Fuck. Tupac is my man. Like, you know what I mean? Like Tupac is that guy. Mm-hmm. God. Damn, we just annihilated Big like that? Well, you picked Biggie, nigga. I picked Tupac. How the fuck? Well, because Tupac is a whole different level of like legendariness, man. Like, it really is. Like, I can't really say Tupac is a whole. I could just say at that time in my life. I'm going with Public Enemy in the 80s. And what I was doing and we, where I was at mentally. We was always listening to Pac. Man. I connected more with Tupac than Biggie. Biggie was. A, we was in. We was doing. Some but that's shit. hard. Nah, it's too. Yeah, Biggie nah. was more of a good feeling type of thing. You feel what I'm saying? Biggie made you want to feel fly. Made you want to be like, you know, nigga. I'm about to go get the new Lex Coop, nigga. I'm about to go, nigga. You know what he I mean? He was cool. He was cool personified. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tupac made you feel more like, like man, I gotta, like. Oh, was he was like, he was that crazy. Crazy. You got hear did Jake Drake come out? Drake came out probably in like 2009 for the main people that listen to Drake. Damn, even I was in jail when that came out. But you gotta think about this: Tupac. Period. I don't care who you was. It could be my mom. Tupac was in the news. Tupac was getting shot. He was and in living, movies. Getting shot. Yeah, yeah. He was in movies. Like he went to prison for an alleged uh, what rape or something like that. Like yeah. Tupac had to go through so much where he was really in the public eye on a different level. Where no matter what walk of life you was in, you knew, you knew who that was. Where some people might be like Biggie Smalls, like he wasn't involved in a lot of the extra shit. You know, this nigga was also like a revolutionary. Like is Tupac was so many yeah, I gotta different go. I gotta versions go. I gotta of listen, him. Listen, listen. There you break all that down. You got to go with Tupac, and you said the. The 2000s. Well, you don't got to go with Tupac. I'm going with Tupac because he is. But I want to get... Fuck that. I'm going with Biggie. I got to go. Because I can't leave Biggie out, man. I just don't... I All can't. Right. Shout out Brooklyn niggas. All right, but listen. This is what I'm going to say. 2000s. Who you Two, got? Listen, 2000s. You had... Listen. You had Wayne. You had X. Dark Man X. Dark Man he was in X the 90s. is a, no, he 90s. was at the end of the nineties in the very beginning of two thousand. Yeah, he was in the nineties too. So and, his, done. And, and you gotta remember he dropped like two albums in his first year. Like he had a time period that was crazy yeah, where I like he had rock and roll type he done numbers. Because I can't get him in the uh nineties. I can't get Pac yeah. in the nineties. I'm in the uh DMX in the nineties. Nah. But the two thousands, you gotta go with motherfucking Wayne fucked the two thousands up though. He did. He fucked the 2000s up. Like, you, like he ain't even got shit out. He's still strong. Yeah. Hov was so consistent throughout them 2000s. Like, it was crazy for me. I'm going to say Hov. And then I'm going to say, you, Drake fuck shit up. He destroys shit. A lot of people say if if Biggie wouldn't have died, Hov would have never been as big. 
I never subscribed to any of that. Like if Aaliyah do, like if Aaliyah was still here, another person. Was here. I'm just saying. What do y'all think did, about this? What I love that analogy. Did, this I what I love. This what I loved. I don't, I don't even. This what I loved about Hove. Hove came right in as exec. <laughs> he didn't come in as like no disrespect to nobody. He ain't coming as a worker. He came right in as a boss. Right. Like right. this is my joint. This is how we rocking. So I think he was gonna be able to levitate no matter what. I think what. people was gonna be who they gonna be. People still exist right now. I don't believe that one person's talent negates another person. Like, oh, if Aaliyah, I see people say like, if Aaliyah wouldn't have died, Beyonce would have never became what she was. Like, no, nah, man. But you, but, but, still... but you, but but another person's talent does. It doesn't take away, but it cut. It does kind of. Okay, Get, pr prime example. If LeBron James is not in the NBA. Kevin Durant, without a doubt, is the best player in the league. I thought yeah. he was the best player already. You I'm, I'm just saying. I, I can, that, that, I, uh, how to? I, I, I'm not saying me per se. Right. I'm saying the general bar stool, the the right. media outlets. Right. Their generalization is LeBron James is the best player in the league. Now that's you feel a, what I'm that's saying. A, that's a little so, bit different because if you minus Mike Tyson and whoever would have been the mean knockout person, because these are facts. Like sports is like you could do the numbers. With music, it's like you're guessing would people like this person's music more than the other. It's different than like this nigga Mike Tyson was going to knock everybody else in 1990. What one? Or whatever the case may be. So it's a little more like if he wasn't there, then this person would. But in music, it's very hard to say. It's just, it's based off of opinion. Yeah, you're right. But the one thing we do know is when both of them was here and alive, Biggie was running shit. Well, and, and, whoa, and, and whoa, let me whoa, tell you whoa, something. Oh, 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 I can't say that. I can't. Say, oh, hold on. You think Biggie wait, wait. was bigger than bigger than? Oh, Biggie was bigger than Tupac. No, 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 no. no, no. Biggie was running shit on oh, the East oh, Coast. Yeah, he talking about. He talking about. Yeah, now, talking about that. yeah, so, yeah. Now, Biggie so, was out since '92. Hold on. Jay Z popped off in 1996, and by the very next year, Biggie Smalls was dead. So hold it's on. very the end but, but of. But what career. I'm saying is, yeah. what I'm saying is, listen. How it works is, it can't be two kings. You give people, when you got, you give people something to choose from. So if as Biggie was still living, now is something else to choose from. It's something else to say, ah, uh, just my, my prime example, what I'm making about with Kevin Durant and LeBron James. LeBron James still playing, it's like, ah, uh, LeBron James. If LeBron James wasn't here, it's like, uh, Kevin Durant is the best. Right. Without a doubt. It's like. You, it's nothing even that you think. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, so, I get it. So when Biggie died, you no longer had the other person to be like, uh, because who's the best MC, Biggie, Jay-Z, or Nas? Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, But they had Nas. So a lot of people would have believed, like, if let's say Nas would have died. But let me, let me get to my point. Right. Let me get to my point. So when... Biggie's alive. You is separation is because some people gonna choose him. Some people gonna choose him just by if we talking about it. It's just just by right. We gonna start arguing. Right. Nigga, you crazy, nigga. Biggie, nigga, nigga, Jay Z, nigga, nigga. So now my dislike for Jay Z then grew a little bit because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm arguing about this shit. <laughs> yeah. So you feel when when Biggie died, it was like it's no more argument. It's just Jay. Then Nas kind of had fell back on the music, really wasn't putting albums out. Jay was working. So now the conversation between Jay-Z and Nas is starting to distance itself because Nas I'm a music ain't putting no music out. Or Jay got 11 rappers. No. He got Beans. He got Freeway. Yo, he that's got the thing. Nigga, Nas was putting nigga. music out. He really was, bro. Put, so what was, I'm telling you, so this is what I'm saying. If Nas would have died, if no, Nas... He put, but he no. wasn't dropping that shit. No, see, but this is like, what I'm saying. If Nas would have died, in 1997, it would be possible that people today would be like, man, Jay would have never been Jay if Nas was still around because you can't predict what happens after that. Just like yeah. you said, Nas kind of fell back because Nas did drop I Am, Nostradamus. Yep. He kept he going like a him. godson. All them Jones came rich. every bro, year. Bro, 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 bro. We after talking about rich. three albums over 20 years, even on Jay-Z said it on a song like, uh, takeover. He, he he said hot album every ten year average. That nigga had an album every time. Yeah, but he wasn't dropping like that. But listen, I got something to talk about, man. I don't mean to interrupt you. And I I came to Gill Crib the other day, and 
I'm starting to really believe it's Illuminati. And Gil, <laughs> please do not, please do not say their names, Gil. I didn't believe it. But it was two Hollywood actors, right? Gil seen the DMs. They DM me, the DM language was different. And they and they offered me to come to this DM, to this uh, I mean, they offered me to come to this event out in LA. And it was just like, don't say nothing, Gil. Don't say nobody's names. Right? They actors, like these motherfuckers, everybody know. Out of out of nowhere. Jesse Smollett and who who was the other one? They, they want you in the naughty, look. No, no, listen, listen. No, it wasn't. They want no. you in the naughty, look. These is big actors. So I'm like, hold up. And I'm not saying what type of race they are. I mean, but but I showed Gil, because I was scared to death. I ain't even gonna hold you, because how you just randomly, I'm not saying that I ain't doing my thing, but how you just randomly, you're- They ain't randomly pick you. Now listen. Not even trying to get you in, player. They told you you got oh, to you leave me behind, you bitch ass nigga. This shit is real, though. This shit is real. So if they, see, so if they, so if they open up the, the DMs, door, no, I if they the open DMs. up the doors to the naughty as you're walking through, no, no, it's a lot of shit. <laughs> that shit is real. How man. you know? How you know what? How you know was a lot of shit with the get? The, the, I heard with stories the of the naughty. I heard stories from who? You. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing said, about the naughty. You fucking said all type of shit. <laughs> trying to deflect it off him like he's. I'm trying to see that he sent him to me because I think he he know all the stories. You know, if you go there. They got to cut blood from your pinky toe and spread. They got to cut blood from your he and, lay you on the table, <laughs> and lay you on the table naked and beat you. What? What the fuck is going on? Then you see bruises on him. Take pictures of you. I see, I see some weird shit on him before. So, but he was on vacation hey, with two. Hey, it's like man, this nigga got a Band-Aid on his finger. He got a Band-Aid on his finger. Let's get to a million dollars for game. OG, I got a new problem now. So my girlfriend told me she want a break. She <laughs> says since I put her... <laughs> <laughs> she says somebody will I, break some dick off it. Right. <laughs> she says since I put her through so much this past year, she thinks it's time to put her happiness first and build herself back up. I put her in a dark place with my sheet and a lion. I admit I did some fucked up things to her this year, and I'm going to turn it around. I signed up to see a therapist and getting out the streets to do the right things in life. Do you think I should wait around for her, or should I move on? Let me just tell you something. <laughs> one thing, one thing as a break as a couple, we don't go for is uh, I need a break. That's just like because I'm just gonna keep it all the way real. If two came to me and said she needed a break, do do you know in my mind what that calculate is? That's like you in the fourth grade and it's recess time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh wait, hold on. So you need a break. So you mean to tell me I get a little time to go fucking play? And then I can come back. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so I can go have the time of my life yeah. for a, and then Get my I can piece off the shit. At the playground sliding down different uh, poles. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, whoa. oh hey, hey, the fuck you talking about? That's hey. what she doing. She at the playground oh, oh, sliding I thought you down poles. We was talking about me, player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you throw that in there. No, because you said if Tootie said no, she gonna take a break. How did he, 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 he all of a sudden Yeah, he all of a sudden imagine himself yeah, sliding down the pole. Because at the end of the day, only pole. Because let me tell you something. If she take a if she take a break. That's not just a break for her. That's a break for both of y'all. So the one thing we don't we don't do she is she wanna take a we, break. we don't we don't take breaks. She totally that me? too. Right. I want to take a break. She ready to slay that boy. That boy baby leg is and slain. and she knows the person that she's going to take the break with. Well, she already because, taking a break, right? Because yeah. let me just tell you something. <laughs> let me just tell you something. One thing about women, they don't quit a job without having another one. Yo, it's a fact though. It's a fact, though. They, ne they never, they never just quit the job without having another joint lease lined up application, and you feel what I'm saying. So, the fact that she's telling you she's starting a new year off, she like New Year, New Dick. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? New Dick, who this? <laughs> new Year, New Dick. She ain't playing no games. <laughs> she cracked it open. She told me right at the top. Listen, man, let me I tell you something. He already got the butter and cracked open your bitch crab legs. I'm just keeping it all the way real with cracked you. Cracked them open with he his He already hand. cracked open your bitch dungeon knees. You hear me? <laughs> dungeon knees. Yeah, them dungeon knees. <laughs> you hear me? He he done cracked your bitch Alaskan crab legs open already because you already got caught up. I, I, I had her in a dark place. Mm -hmm. Now that bitch is seeing the light. You hear me? <laughs> She seeing the light. Nigga open up that door. That motherfucker like, oh. So <laughs> he blazing the shit out you. And, 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 and just know you already behind the eight ball player. So you you now you want to go see a therapist. No, nigga, you too late, nigga. You should have went and seen a therapist three cheats ago. 
See, the way it went is you got caught cheating, she forgave you. You got caught cheating again, <laughs> she forgave you. You just said, oh, this bitch is going to keep Let's forgiving Let's take a break. Me. Break! Uh-huh. Now she at the point where doing all the sorrow, and she she mad at you, she hurt. That one right nigga slid up on mm -hmm. her. Yeah, I mean, all it take for that one right nigga to slide up on her where she looks, she's like, no, he is kind of cute. I do or he work like at the that. job, too. Oh, what? And guess what? We all know the number one rule. Mm -hmm. The shoulder. A shoulder to cry on. It's a dick to ride on. I was a professional at that. Shoulder to cry on turns to a dick to ride on. And he caught your bitch at her lowest point. <laughs> you know? He caught your bitch at ground zero. Blazed and glazed. And you're right. He already hitting it. She just been, been having to be sneaky. And now she want to have freedom. She want to have that freedom fuck. You know what right. I'm saying? Oh, what? So it's like, you know, we keep moving around like it this. It ain't nothing when you got it's, it's when you got to sneak. That's she when you. That's and, when and, you and, naked and, with a book bag with a strap. She can't lay on the nigga. <laughs> she can't. She can't lay on the nigga chest when she get done. She can't. They can't interlock their toes. She's trying to take it to the next level. Right. They can't watch a movie. And like I told y'all, the shit she doing with him is so much she more. Oh no no no, no. Oh, Wait wait hold on wait wait wait. Let me She's just tell y'all niggas. Toppy. Let me just tell y'all niggas. When your woman cheat on you with another nigga. I just want all the niggas across the world to know. Look me in my face. I'm, I'm, in, I'm, am I in view? B Rock. When your woman cheat on you with another man, I just want you to know. She sucked the fucking balls out that nigga dick. She sucked that nigga's dick better than she sucked yours. You know why? Because y'all been together for a period of time now, so you getting them lazy dick sucks. He got that brand new dick suck where she had to prove something. So she was, oh, I'm talking about she slapping herself and she doing all kinds of amazing shit. You hear me? She 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 got in tune with her inner fucking pigeon. It's an inner freak. You hear me? I'm talking about she doing amazing. She slapping the dick on the titty. So just, I'm, she making up shit to do. So just know, if you found out your woman was cheating on you, she sucked that man's dick. Better than she suck your dick. Now, I don't know how you're going to feel about that, but that's just the bottom line of this shit. Yeah, everything's dirtier. They fucking in movie oh theaters. My God. They, it's just yeah. way more spontaneous. Oh it's, my it's God. Because, because they already doing wrong. So the mindset is already like, we doing something filthy, so why not just Let's go, go all, all out. out? Go all the way out. He might be spitting in your bitch mouth. <laughs> yup. Oh, like, they doing some filthy shit. Like, Yo. like I'm, I'm, I'm for real. They doing some filthy... Low down, filthy oh shit, man. Filthy McVeigh. So, so, player, if I was you, you know, I would chalk this one up because you know you, she gonna pay you back. She basic. I mean, she that's basically, what she doing. She paying you back. She breaking up with you. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. But then, but then, when she come back, she might got a couple dicks on her jacket now. So it's all about if if you willing to take the payback. Mm-hmm. I ain't willing to take the payback. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck what I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't pay me back, though. You, you know, I'm a man with pride. You don't do shit like that. You don't just pick up and leave and suck a dick like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> I was fucking them hoes. I was going to get right back. Like, come on, man. Like, you just don't do a nigga like that. But let's get into this episode of Stories from the Cell. Stories this Story from the cell. cell is brought to you by Broken Bar Stew. The bar stool that was broke at this bar we was bouncing at when Gil uh, got a little drunk and touched somebody he wasn't supposed to touch. The bar stool oh, got broke. What the <laughs> no, fuck I'm are you saying. talking about? We got drunk. We was bouncing. And you got a little Henny in you. <laughs> me too. This is the Me Too movement is strong out here. Don't I'm be saying. making no cases, nigga. I'm just saying, when the bar stool got broke, boy, yeah, you talking about I touched somebody I ain't need to touch? What the fuck is you talking about? You trying to give me a case out here? They can try to give me a case out here. Motherfucker broke the bar stool in his head. Broke that shit. That shit is spread everywhere. It's the logo. It's shit everywhere. You just see blood dripping Oh, that's on the, the bar stars that yeah. he was seeing? Boom, that's the stars. So, so that's the stars. Blood. It's blood all on the junk. <laughs> Broke the shit all on him. Broken bars too. Now, shit crazy, right? I'm on the phone one time in prison, right? And it's crazy. So I'm, I get off the phone, and right next to the phone, nobody was on the phone. So me and my homie, we post it up, right? So we stand there talking, yeah, 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 you know, because you don't stand in the phones when people talk, but ain't nobody on there early in the day. So I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? We stand there chilling. And like right there where we stand, it's the cell right there, but the sheet is up, right? We ain't greatest for a penitentiary. 
So the sheet is up, right? All of a sudden, the sheet fall. You're not supposed to look in nobody's cell, but we noticed the sheet fall, so we looked in. Old head was in there fucking the mattress. He had to listen, man. He was fucking the mattress. What you mean, just sitting on top of it, just humping on it? No, 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 no. No, it ain't like that. The mattress, right, right where we standing at, where his cell is at, he was in a single cell, one bunk in the joint, right? He was fucking the mattress, meaning he had the mattress bent over, hitting the mattress. Now, listen, I always heard about this shit, right? You hear about it. No, dudes be doing this shit in jail. It's, just, it's sort of like the Fifi, but this more into some elaborate shit. It's just you got the mattress bent over. Just imagine, and the mattress, like, they had different type of mattresses in the penitentiary. They had the plastic ones, and they had the ones, anybody that was in the state pen, they know, especially in Pennsylvania, they had the old school joints with the blue, they all white with the blue lines on them. It's like fabric to it, but it's cushion in there. Did you ever fuck a posturepedic? No, but it, I thought about it once or twice. I'm not going, I'm not going to bullshit. So he had the mattress, like, roll. it was like more, it wasn't all the way back, but it was like the front was rolled up to a point, and he was just going, he was just going in. He put a hole in there, and he was going ham. So he probably gloved it up or bagged it up. See, with that, you could throw a bag in there. You just throw a bag mm. up in there. All, I mean, it depends on how you make the hole, right? He had the hole in the joint. He was just hitting the mattress. <laughs> I said, yo, what the f-? And it was just crazy. It was a wild scene to see. But, you know, it's like when you're trying to escape, there's multiple things that you do for prison penitentiary pussy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like seeing that shit was like, yo, because you know you hear about the shit with the old heads. And you be like, so now we look the old head different. Like, old head is a fucking animal. Yeah, old head of a fuck your mattress in there. <laughs> Why would you fuck my mattress? Like, that don't make no sense. Like, one of your cellies, you came and he had your mattress bent over. Mattress yeah. is mattress is cold word for ass. In yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you had a king size. No, 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 it didn't. No, it didn't. No, <laughs> he was like, yo, I'm but, but, but it's just... For y'all that ain't seen prior episodes, when Lala was in jail, him and his cellie. They took the top bump down and, and placed it next you can't to the do bottom that bump. The metal, yes, the metal was no, he y'all, he's fucking nigga, lying y'all, y'all took it down and made it one big mattress. And, hold on, king, it's fucking the a mattress size. turning. You basically turned the mattress into a fifi. So is that how you like a, is that how you get off like missionary on a fifi? Something like that, I guess. Because you really fucking. can't get missionary off on <laughs> so, a fifi. So y'all niggas was in their fucking mattresses. Like dudes, like I, everybody don't do that. You That's was. Not. It is silly, prostrate. Silly, you hitting it and yelling her name out. Oh, silly, silly, oh, silly. This silly. Shit's so good. Nigga, Phil, watch <laughs> wallow mattress up with sperm. He see, he, I got a water bed. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, you know what's crazy? Look at it like this. Like, listen, <laughs> like we, like, like, listen, man. How a nigga feel your mattress? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> A semen waterbed is disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting, dog. Real shit. Oh my god. Yo, a fucking that. Yo, a semen dude, That's great. Like yo, look at this Floating on semen like that is crazy. Yo, they, the motherfucking security the CO do a couch check. They walk past this nigga here. They like, oh, you got to stand up doing couch. Nigga, cut your bed open. You just smash into it. <laughs> It's like this is crazy, dog. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> they come looking for commissary. No. <laughs> this nigga mattress. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, it's a it's a trillion kids everywhere. It's a trillion kids and kids everywhere. No, oh, we got a kidnap. We got kids in there. What the hell? <laughs> it's future scientists in this motherfucker. Oh my god! Oh my oh, shit! Yo. Y'all niggas is crazy, man. That nigga said nigga had a water <laughs> bed made out of semen in prison. A semen bed. Oh, Semen's furniture, nigga. Oh, oh my fucking god, oh, man! Y'all shit. niggas is crazy. Hey, listen, man. First, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in each and every week to the fastest growing podcast in the world, not the country, in the world, Craig. The whole world. We appreciate y'all <sighs> appreciate for tuning y'all. in, man. Each and every week, make a million dollars worth of game. The shit. Because it's truly y'all who make us the shit, man. We want to give a shout out to our partner. The Stool. Barstool. Barstool Sports. Because they're the shit as well. See you guys next week. Same time. Same place. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. And it's just like that. Right!